a concept under construction by Yara Fernanda Schmidt. This talk presents some of the results of an ongoing research centered on the relationship between social media and history. The main goal is to investigate how people in informal, non-professional, and non-educational settings talk about historical facts and interact with historical sources. The initial empirical study was conducted during a master's degree on internet memes, more specifically medieval memes, which are a meme trend that uses medieval manuscript illuminations and other historical art pieces as the background for humorous productions, usually about contemporary issues. Despite often being perceived as trivial or shallow, as Limer Schiffman points out, internet memes are cultural products, therefore carry ideas, concepts and feelings of the social groups in which they are created and shared. In the early stages, the research sought to understand the medieval or medievalist imaginaries present in the memes themselves. However, so my attention was drawn to the rich conversations such memes will sometimes prompt. I started to carry out the analysis on a Reddit community, Art Tripping Through Time, at the time formed by more than 2.8 million members. The corpus was formed by 121 posts, totaling 18,000 comments. Not every meme initiated a discussion about history, only about half of them did. And these conversations could be just a small island of interest in history among a sea of talks of a variety of topics. Still, from these conversations, I observed that the memes oftentimes sparked some users' interest in the background images, leading to a collaborative process to reach the subreddit community would go about identifying and interpreting the medieval works. Such processes are characterized by the interaction between medieval imaginaries and multiple sources, including academic research, Wikipedia, documentaries, fictional works, and even primary sources. In order to highlight these processes, I have been building the concept of a vernacular history. Vernacular history comprises the complex assemblage of dynamic discussions, sharing of knowledge, discovery and exchange of facts and curiosities, informal research practices, contestations and reinforcement of stereotypes, all of which are argued and negotiated within the community, resulting in multiple and fragmented ideas about the past. Originally, the theoretical base for the concept was drawn mainly from memory studies, specifically Halbach's collective memory, and some more modern developments, sometimes grouped under the name cultural memory. Cultural memory is defined by Astrid Earle as the interplay of present and past in social cultural context. The further division of cultural memory into functional and storage memory proposed by Aleda Asman also helps to explain how memes can rework memories of past events into contemporary conversations. Vernacular history is also closely linked to the co concept of collective intelligence, as developed by Pierre Lévy. Each person contributes with their own knowledge and experiences and, through dynamic social interactions, build, build a deeper understanding of a topic. Furthermore, studies of vernacularity have been of great interest. The term vernacular holds two main lines of meaning, distinct but also intertwined. On one hand, vernacular refers to the language or dialect native to a place or region. An example will be the concept of vernacular culture, introduced by Margaret Lentis in 1960. As the Culture as it is lived appropriate to well-defined places and situations, such as state fairs and train stations. On the other hand, vernacular means the form of a language used in everyday speech in opposition to formal usage. This appears prominently as vernacular architecture, popularized by Bernard Rudofsky in 1964, concerning the style of ordinary houses without professional input. Our interest is mostly focused on the fusion of these two lines, as well as its application to the study of digital culture carried on by Robert Glenn Howard. The author points to the merging of popular expressions with institutional and structural forces, for instance, from the digital platforms in which online conversations take place. 
making the vernacular a complex amalgamation of multiple discourses. How this affects people's engagement with history is the center of my ongoing research on vernacular history. This research has been conducted within the doctoral program in, in Cultural Expressions and Processes at University of Vale, Brazil, on the supervision of Dr. Sandra Portela Montardo and sponsored by CAPES during the Master's and CNP Key during the PhD.